Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Domus Creations and More. Today I'm excited to share with you um, the kit that I will be using for my design team project for Studio 28E um, for September 2020. So, the name of the kit that I'm going to be showing you, it is called The Beauty of Nature by Studio 28E on Etsy. And um, this is a kit I will be using, like I said, for my design team project for September 2020. I went ahead and chose my kit. Um, Miss Sherry sent it over to me, to the owner for Studio 28E on Etsy. Again, the kit is called The Beauty of Nature. And um, I write it on an index card, the name, and then, you know, where I find it, or the, the um, where you find the kit because I'm going to show you what I write down here um, after I show you the kit. So this is a kit. I did print it on this vintage, uh, you can see how it has like brown tone to it. Um, it is a paper, um, if you remember in the olden days when um, the new computer, or computers came out actually, the first Apple computers where um, the paper was in a ring that was stuck together and it had little paper side little holes here that you would put in and feed through your printer. Well somebody donated a box to me and it was all vintage. See how it's brown? And um, that's the paper I printed it on. Um, I wanted to show it to you the other way because as I was printing it, I was noticing that I believe that this, um, no, I don't like it that way because I want to show you the details of the pages, so I'm going to have to turn them this way. I was noticing that um, this is, let me move the phone, I'm sorry. Yes, I use my phone to record. It's easier with this new equipment that I got to use my phone. Okay. There we go. So that I can come in and I can, you can see the details. I was noticing that uh, usually when I do my um, projects, I will take the paper and fold it this way, right, to do my um, journals. But the direction of the, the images are the other way. So if I do this, then see how the birds are turned this way versus this way so I think uh, that is going to change my plan that I had for my project and I'll share that with you uh, later on but this is the first page so let's go through the kit it's beautiful look at the detail on the, on the birds that's one I love this one so, on the index card, right, see how it has lines? I do it that way because what I'm going to be doing is jotting down colors, jotting down things that I see, because this is going to uh, let me gather my supplies from the things that I have at home or things that I'm going to use in my, um, in my, what's it called, in my journal or in my project. Uh, so I see hearts, you see? I see hearts, birds, branches, and grapes. And I see blue, yellow, red, green. So I'll go next to the next one. And I see music notes. And if you see the background, I see a uh, script and I see ledger. Ledger paper is these columns right here. And numbers. We already got the birds, we got the colors. Oh, I see pink here. And look at the list I have, and it's just the first two pages. So, oh, look at the background. It's like a lacy background. 
greenery and the same colors. Look at the, the birds. So I'm going to put my thing over here. Now, what did I say, Lise? We got the music, right? Yeah, music notes. And then this one just has like a crisscross pattern on it. And then I see um, bees. And uh, what is this? Beehive? And this is the next one. And it's all a, a thing of um, tags, tickets. It's reminiscent of the title. It says Beauty of Nature. And I see tickets and tags. Nest and egg. And then here. And here, my printer was running out of ink. That's why you see this. It shouldn't be like that. See how you see the lines? But I really like that effect on the paper. So I'm going to use it as is. But uh, your image, if you were to buy this kit, would be clean. It would be like this little baby blue background. Kind of uh, in between baby blue and violet. It would be all of it. But I like that. That, um... I see white. Um, effect that it gave it. And then this is another page. I love it. See how it has a columns? This is ledger paper. And then it has red cherries here and dragonflies. Dragonfly. Water and rocks. I really did like, uh, I, uh, when I saw it, I said this is a kit that I want to work with different kinds of flowers. Beads. And look at this detailing right here. It has butterflies, I mean not butterflies, dragonflies there. And then this is a big image of a bee. Look at that big juicy bee. <laughs> and then this one. Beautiful. Look at the background. The little crisscross that was that was in the other one. And then the ledger, the script, the leaves. And then look at this background right here. It has, um, gosh, what is that? To me it kind of seems like a newspaper in the back I don't know columns oh it says something about geography geographical something rather but that's the, the background on that one and then look at this one the same it has script and the ledger and more birds and then she took the lace right the birds and then added like a uh, I think these are like wax symbols. I mean, not symbols, wax uh, seals, I should say. Get this one. Beautiful. Get the birds. So, what I was saying to you was that the, instead of folding it over this way, so it would be um, the five and a half by, no, five and a half by the eight, it's going to be like a traveler's notebook going to have to be cut, uh, folded this way so that I have this right here and this right here, the images. Unless I want to cut it in half and make too many or make many journals. So uh, I have to think about that. Look at this one. It has parakeets or finges. Actually, I think they're parakeets. I'm not sure. I'm not a bird expert. And then this one right here. See, it has tickets, right? I wrote that down. Great. Oh, I do see a butterfly. Oh, actually, that's a moth. Right here. I was going to say, oh, I see a butterfly. But no, they're moths. The grapes, the tickets. And then this is the ephemera. This one, you see that it is printed on white. And it is printed, this one's printed on 110 pound cardstock, because that's what I have now, instead of 65. And I printed it on the cardstock because it's thicker. And uh, the back on this one, of course, is white because it was a white cardstock. But um, I will either ink it up in the back, do some stenciling, or I'll glue it. Since I see script and I see music notes, I can use um, some vintage music paper that I have and glue it to the back of like the tags. I can use script, uh, ledger paper. I don't know if I have ledger paper. Anything with numbers. And I'll go back to, to my list in a while. So I'm going to look at this. I see roses. 
I'm still writing. <laughs> like insects, a beehive, the tags. They're beautiful. I love this one. It's nice and long and big. And then look at this one. It's very pretty. I love the birds in this. Very pretty. And the library card. And then look at the, the shape of tag is different. This is a pocket. <clears throat> of course, that big juicy bee. And then this one is an envelope that you can either just leave this as a label or if you cut it out, you'll have a window envelope. And this one I printed again on that uh, vintage paper. And then all these words that you see right here are words that you can cut out and use as decoration. So, I am excited to be using this kit again. It is called The Beauty of Nature, and I'm going to put everything back so you can get another look. It's called Beauty of Nature from Studio 28E on Etsy. This is the kit that I will be using for my September design team project for uh, Miss Sherry, which is the Studio 28E. I really enjoy working with with her kids um, it's been a pleasure working with her I've worked with her in the past and uh, came on board once again I had to take a break there for a while but I finally have my setup back um, I have to I don't think I have a note I might use this for uh, okay Aha. there's a little border here and I'm going to put print again because I just got an idea. I think I'm going to use this for um, the backing of either the tags or stuff like that. So I need that page. And here we go. And like I said, I have printed it in the back of the vintage um, computer paper. See how it's nice and brown. It looks tea dyed. Uh, without me having to tea dye or coffee dye it and I love that because now um, well this one doesn't matter right no this one uh, doesn't matter because it doesn't have any of the um, images see it's like a background page so usually uh, like I said I will fold them like that and make my um, signatures or my journal this size but seems like I'm gonna have to be, do it like this uh, traveler's notebook because of the way the images are on the page unless I cut them in half and then have half pages which would be a smaller instead of having the five five and I mean the eight inch it would be like four inch pages like this but we will see once I get to that point um, but yeah I'm loving it the reason I print, printed it on this paper is because now I don't have to do anything to the back so I can just put my signatures together and I already it already has color versus like the bright white if I would do it in white copy paper. So I have that. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna do anything to the pages because I will. I'll decorate or I'll stencil or I'll put lace or I'll, you know, because who wants an empty journal? I am gonna leave I'll leave journaling space here and of course some of this but you know I'll put a ruffle or put a pocket or a tuck spot or a you know a tuck spot on the top or a belly band something um, this time I printed it out all on this um, paper the computer paper uh, but I will be reprinting some things on cardstock especially like my fold not my folder my um, my cover um, and a couple of other pages of cardstock. Why do I do that? Because um, depending on what I'm going to stuff the journal with or my project with it, I still haven't decided if I'm going to do a journal, if I'm going to do a traveler's notebook insert, um, a loaded pocket. I mean, I can do a whole bunch of stuff. Once I decide on my project, depending on where I'm going to use it, how I'm going to do the project will determine if I if and what pages and what I um, print on this 110 pound cardstock. I always do my tags and pockets on the cardstock just because it's sturdier. The pages not so much because people will write on them, stuff like that, but we will see. Now let's take a look at our, um, I'm going to bring you in closely. 
Yeah, I'm learning it, guys. I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay. So, um, I'm going to bring in the... You know what? I'm going to turn it this way so you won't get distracted by the graphic. Okay, there we go. Um, this is a list that I made as I was showing you the kit. Um, I had looked at it while I was printing it when I chose the kit and when I was printing it but I, in detail I didn't until I was showing it to you and I'm taking you through my process of what I do so I print it, I look at it, I make the video for you guys um, why do I make the video going through the kit to show you the kit um, in case you're interested in purchasing it it is the beauty of nature from Studio 28E on Etsy. And you can, you know, now you know where to look for it. Now you know the title. And I'll give you a flip through, which I did page by page. But um, I also like to do this because when I was getting into doing journals and stuff like that, I had no idea what I was doing. All I knew it was that, that I wanted to make a journal. Right, so I looked on YouTube and um, of course journal, junk journal, how to do them and this and that and I could not find something like this. Um, like this meaning that they would show me the kit, right? I, I could go to Etsy and I could see the previews and stuff like that but I wanted to know like for example, I did this on purpose. See, there are some printers. And it also depends on how the artist, the designer, um, did her pages or his pages. Um, sometimes you'll get a border like this, right? And I want to show you everything that you get when you, you do purchase a journal kit. Because sometimes it doesn't come out like this. Sometimes it comes all the way to the edge and it's borderless. It has no border. And um, it you know you don't have to trim it and you don't have to do all that um, but what I didn't find when I was a beginner and when I wanted to learn how to do it was all those things until I purchased a kit I didn't find out like oh man I gotta cut it and then sometimes it's it's bigger here and thinner here and it would throw off my measurements when I was a when you're a beginner you don't know how to tweak the measurements right because what I was doing as at least I was doing when I was a beginner I would get a tutorial that I liked on YouTube and I said okay I'm gonna make this journal I'm gonna make this thing that so-and-so person um, made a tutorial and I'm gonna do it so I would get the the video and I would you know get a paper and I'm really um, m the way I learn or the way I learn things is by writing things down so I would get a paper and I would write everything I would see the video over and over and I say okay you're gonna cut this paper five and a half by eight you know but it didn't explain to me what I did when it, I no longer had an eight and a half by eleven paper once I cut off the borders right and so then I would get stuck because I was a beginner and I didn't know how to deal with that so that's why I like to do these process videos I like to um, not only think right it's when you're at least me right when I'm doing things I'm thinking like oh yeah no oh there's birds and there's music and and I'm thinking like oh I have music paper and I have birds over here and I have ephemera over here and oh I saw these nice grapes that I could use or I have a stamp of a grape or I have a stamp of numbers that I can use but if I don't tell you guys um, you won't know and if you're a beginner that's how you, that's how you will come to understand how to use your supplies at home and not run out and buy everything new every time you want to make a journal you know and it it adds up quickly so um, that's why I'm walking you through the process so as I was showing you this I always write things down why exactly what I just said a little while ago I am not gonna run out and go buy oh well um, I need to um, give me a second I need I'm gonna work on my sorry the my tablet just rang I need I forget to put do not disturb while I'm doing this but sorry yeah so just like that. anyway <laughs> of course now everybody's gonna be anyway Okay, so I'm working on my journal, let's pretend, and I have an empty page, right? I have a background, 
but I have an empty page. Oh, what am I going to do? I don't want to leave it blank. And, oh, well, there's birds. Right? Oh, I don't have any bird ephemera. So there I go to Hobby Lobby, right? And I'm looking for birds. And then I go to Hobby Lobby and I go buy birds and I come back and it's they're orange. And look at my birds. They're not orange. They're yellow and red and black and brown and white. Now I know how to look for those things. So that's why I make my list. And I make my list because the first place that I shop, I'm going to go in for those that are motion sickness people like me. Okay. That's why I make my list because I shop my supplies first. Everything that I have, I look. Oh, there we go. I look at home first, everything that I have. So as I was showing it to you, I pay attention. Like right here I wrote that there's hearts. Did you pick up on that? Hearts and numbers, right? Oh, I didn't write that there's circles in here. What is this? Now, I'm going to laugh at myself because I put, I have no idea what that was supposed to be. Moth and then... Oh, roses. Sometimes, look how I spelled it. R-O-E-S, and it's supposed to be R-O-S-E. Oh, my goodness. A little dyslexic, Thelma? Yeah, I tend to flip things sometimes. Roses. I was like, what is that? Anyway, <laughs> I thought I'd make you laugh today. Anyway, so as I was saying, as I was showing it to you, I was running down that in all the papers, there's hearts, birds, branches, grapes, Music notes, script, there's ledger papers, numbers, lace, um, bees, beehives, tags, tickets, um, and that's not on the ephemera, like all in the white ones. No, it was in the pages, in the journal pages. There was a nest, there was eggs, dragonflies, moths, roses, <laughs> circles, and the colors that I saw were yellow, blue, red, green, black, white. Ahorita voy! Sorry guys, I was telling my parents that I was going over there. Uh, black, I saw browns. Yes, I am bilingual. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together my kit. I will take either a bag, a Ziploc, a, a, a plastic container, anything, and I will pull whatever I have in my stash. So I'll look. Do I have lace? Of course I have lace. What color of lace is? Ha ha see these colors that's why so I pull stuff that I have if I have ephemera if I have stamps like I know I have stamps that have scripts uh, I think I have one that has ledger paper things and I'll show you music notes um, I don't have branches or birds but I think I have a punch that has birds and I think I have a punch that has hearts so this helps me pull things that I have out so um, that's why I make my list so, I hope that me going through the kit with you, explaining my reasoning, what I write down, why I write it down, um, and what I do with this information will help you. If you're interested in the kit, it's called The Beauty of Nature, Studio 28E on Etsy. Um, and um, I hope you come along in this journey of making my design team project for September 2020 for Studio 28E here on YouTube. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Any questions, leave it down in the description box below and I'll get back to you. Bye guys. Happy crafting.